Hi, I'm Ricky Young with your UTTV News Update. The former U.S. Marine vet being held without bail in a Mexican jail was in court Monday for the third time. Andrew T Tamaresi has been in jail since March 31st for crossing the border with three loaded firearms and more than 400 rounds of ammunition in his truck. Tamaresi's attorney, Fernando Benitez, says his client's rights were violated when he was detained at the port of entry and turned over to the Mexican Attorney General's office. Besides receiving testimony from the two customs agents who detained Tamaresi, the judge was expected to hear from the members of the Mexican military who participated in Tamaresi's detention. If found guilty, he faces 7 to 21 years in prison. Hundreds of law enforcement officials gathered Monday morning to honor and say farewell to slain officer Laura Perez, who was shot and allegedly killed by her husband two weeks ago. The 25-year-old officer had been with the Escondido Police Department since October and was the second female to graduate with honors from Palomar Police Academy. Perez's husband, Freddy Perez Rodas, has been charged with murder and arson. Former White House Press Secretary James Brady has died at the age of 73. The Brady campaign to prevent gun violence made the announcement on Monday. Brady was wounded in the 1981 assassination attempt on President Reagan and became a crusader along with his wife for gun control efforts. Brady's family issued a statement this morning saying Jim used his many talents and can-do attitude to make a difference in the lives of others. We believe with all our hearts that he did. We're giving the money, uh, we got much more than we gave. This gave real meaning to our lives and what we have accomplished and participate in the community. So thank you for the gift that you gave myself and my family. Real meaning to our lives. Thank you. That's La Jolla businessman Ernest Rady, who with his wife Evelyn is giving $120 million to Rady Children's Hospital to establish the Pediatric Genomics and Systems Medicine Institute. The hospital says the gift will allow it to keep up with new technology and stay on the cutting edge of genomics. Rady Children's Hospital plans to spend another $40 million of donations on the project, which will be housed on the Rady Children's campus with a separate location in the Torrey Pines Life Sciences Hub. Remember, you can get all your latest headlines right here at utsandiego.com.